Greetings fellow Sturgeons, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, Episode 50, A Slice of Homeland. So there goes their army again. Um, what's interesting to me is I don't have any noble prisoners. Like at all. Roland was the only one. I uh, don't really understand that. Sierra Seal, welcome to your first stream. You're loving this campaign? You're excited to binge? My, absolutely, my pleasure. My pleasure. It's actually being voted on right now by my Patreon patrons and Twitch subs, whether I continue this or do the Old Realms mod uh, for August and September. So there's a chance that this will continue next month, which is good news for fans of Bannerlord. Hey! So Sturgia must have... They must be at peace with... Okay, yeah, they are at peace with uh, Batania. I was going to say. Because um, Sturgia is getting a lot more bold attacking Remtoil and the villages around my um, around my hometown. Which means they're just not threatened by Batania, so that makes sense. Hi, Osven. Are you a... Uh... No, Godun is your clan leader. Okay, surrender or die. Why do I upgrade half my troops? Uh, because I want to. I, I do realize that uh, XP is shared, but most of the troops that are being upgraded Soldier! are really low level. So I'm recruiting them as fast as I am upgrading them, so it doesn't really ma make sense to pull the XP because I I expect them to die R rather, relatively frequently. Who, uh, what? Who am I attacking here? They're all Kuzadi. What the heck? Sturgeons hiring out a whole bunch of Kuzadis? Because it wasn't like a mercenary party. It was just randomly Kuzadi. I, I don't know. Hello, you. They must have recruited in Kuzate territory. What's my tactics on leveling companions? They level up when they level up. I don't really have tactics. I just let them loose on enemies and hope that they do well. Not something I particularly min-max or anything like that. I think what I'm going to do here is release all of my vassals, because the vassal armies at this point have like 30-ish troops per army, and that's just not very effective to have following me around anymore. I want them to go recruit up as much as they can. Come on, this fight's over. Okay, one of the things I got there was really good horse armor. Give that up to Para Overlord. Well, not really good, but much better than what he was using. And I am going to let those vassals go. In fact, I am going to let uh, Kimo go to formally disband the army because... Uh, Kimo is my companion, so I can create a new army with Kimo for free and have my uh, cohesion reset back to 100 rather than to pay influence to do that. And then this will give me a pretty good idea. Uh, idea of how many troops I need to recruit 
Oh, uh, I'm going to take your prisoners. Prisoners over limit, I don't care. I'm right next to Pankanot. So, Osfin's inside, so now I have nine Sturgeon nobles and, well, eight nobles and one mercenary, I think. Still pretty good. Uh, 90 days of food, not bad. Is this armor better for anyone? No, I don't think so. Then it's sold. Extra clean 40k. I'm gonna go back to Manage Town. Let's drop more money in the reserves. Because I am making bank. Quite nice. That form is almost done too. And it looks like the loyalty finally bottomed out at 28. Which isn't great, but it's enough to get work done. Anything in the stash? No. Okay, cool. Alright, question. Should I focus on Varcheg or Dinar Castle? So the conspiracy is building up at Dinar Castle, and then you guys voted for me to besiege Varcheg, so I'll just let you vote on those two. And I'm actually going to recruit towards Sargot um, so that I can buy something in Sargot. Uh, it looks like these towns, though, are pretty well hit. Give me two and a half minutes to vote on that. So how am I faring... I have nine of them prisoner, and I've caused a lot more casualties to them. I could settle for peace paying almost nothing, but I have no interest in that because I haven't done what I intend to do. Also, they declared war on me, so... There will be blood. What happened? Oh, you know Kimo? Yeah, okay, I know what Kimo did. Kimo just dumped uh, her troops into Sargot's garrison. Um, so the all the troops that I had chemo I gave chemo chemo was like all right time to donate them Which is annoying. I don't like that mechanic at all Okay, so there's no prisoners in here. There's no items in the stash I think what I'm gonna do is grab the garrison from here Give a whole bunch to Kimo, let Kimo go, and then put the garrison back. That way I'm done, I'm done, um, tinkering with Kimo. So, disband. I need a... Actually, is there a way to for me to sort? Okay, there we go. I think I grabbed only the best. Nice. Done. And then re-rally Kimo back in. With my army now sitting at 500. I like it. It does look like the vassals of mine have been building up their forces. Uh, so they will be useful here in a minute. Oh, uh, another thing that I meant to do in Sargot, uh, Kim, I'm going to have to boot you out briefly, is to buy the workshop. Okay, you, sell me your pottery shop. So Sargot is bound to what? It is bound to... Itraford and Kaliak. 
Uh, so that is flax for linens and grain. And I'm going to go to Varchek. Got it. So I have a linen weavery already, a brewery. Yeah. Uh, pottery might be fine. Let me, let me check what is in stock here. There's a lot of grapes, so I'm going to actually turn that into a uh, wine press. Change production to a wine press. Okay. I am going to start heading towards Varchek now. What happens when the conspiracy media is full? Uh, last time I played this, there wasn't... It was, like, broken and never did anything, so I don't know. If you want an answer, uh... Google it, I guess. I'm going to go actually to Rimtoil Castle because that's under siege. And I'm going to ask my vassals to join me. My leadership's getting pretty close to the next level. I'm going to make sure that nobody needs to level up here. Here we go. Nice and growing. They haven't built up a very large army, so we should smoke them in a sec. Yeah, they're going to get smoked. Now, the real trick is to limit our losses so that we can keep rolling on Varchek. Soldiers! Everyone, follow me! Arrow! Forward! Troop! Forward! Oh, there goes Svedorn. Bye! Hey. Oh, I like your big axe. Ah. Ooh, you know how to use it. Uh. I don't know where you went. Soldier forward! I'm telling my, uh... There she is. Tell my horseman to go away. I want the kill. Get over here. I see your avalanche. I raise you my avalanche. Omen! Stand apart, archers! Soldiers! Move! Troops! Shields up! Soldiers! Move! On my flank! Troops! Skate! Archer! Soldiers! Forward! Okay, looking good. Trying to take position now. Cheers. Soldiers! Forward! I don't mind having a bit of a bow fight here. If they want a bow fight. Troops! Move! Sure. Raises my bow skill. Looks like they have a pretty good shield wall, but I keep getting kills. Which makes not much sense to me. They have like four archers in this whole grouping. Oh, 
Oh, two for one. Whoa, okay. Hello. <laughs> we'll kill them all. That's what reinforcements look like. <laughs> It's like when you put more paper into the printer and the printer starts spinning off new sheets. You definitely don't want to be in the middle of uh, respawns like that with no momentum. You'll get stuck and crushed. All right, they're dead. We didn't lose very many because I was uh, I played it much more carefully. Prisoner, prisoner, and prisoner. Ooh, level six helmet. Level 5 Blade. Not bad. Level 6 Helmet. Let's see. Morty, my wife. You don't need it, but how's it look on you? It looks very fancy. But, you know, I gotta keep her face covered. Anyway. Uh, Dinky. Not better for you. Ty Sato, it is better for you. Congratulations, Ty. Mino, that's the same. Do Village. Yours is better. Poetic. Yours is way better. Amateur Chief. Yours is better. Rob's. Way better for you. There you go. Hand me downs. Nothing wrong with a good hand me down. Alright. So we didn't really lose very many of our units. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to head towards Varchek. I've taken on a pretty sizable amount of. Um, Sturgeon armies, so I can't imagine that they have another mega army waiting. And Pencanoc just made its forum building. Nice. So this level 5 sword, maybe it's better for someone. Although we don't really use swords, we uh, prefer axes over swords. So, with that in mind, yeah, I'm just going to sell it. Because I've been designing my uh, companions to use axes and maces instead. So, scratch that. So, I have 12 days to go to Dinar Castle. It might be possible to try to snag Varcheg and then go to Dinar Castle afterwards. Wouldn't be terrible. Mooney? Oh, Mooney is, uh, friends of Tannering. Okay. I was wondering how one of my companions won a tournament when I was not around. So Varcheg is very... Uh-oh. Never mind. No, it's, it's really not that... It's not that, uh, d well defended. Only eight days of food. And I'm getting reinforced as we speak. Most of the Sturgeon armies around are tiny, which is an indicator that they've tapped their recruits. And this is also a good way to level Dinky's uh, engineering skill up. So, Dinky, what are you at? For reference, you're at 82. So we'll see how much higher you get during this fight. Oops. You sort of just want to pocket your trebuchets until you have three of them. And then you can roll them all out. Especially if they have catapults. If they have ballistae, ballistae can defend against trebuchets decently, but... Catapults will hit trebuchets pretty hard. Alright, they're starting to stack up to fight me. 
don't think they're going to have enough. Yet, at least. They're down. Oh, and I got a war declaration from Western Empire. Cute. Can we fight? Shoot. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we have a battering ram and four trebuchets. I think that's good. I'm going to go with... Um, yeah, I'm going to lead an assault right now. So, Dinky, uh, let's... How'd you level up? 86. So they don't have anything on their walls. And before they build up enough of a force to be able to actually defend Varchag, I think now's the time. The really important bit is for me not to get knocked out. Because uh, I've been super, super, super terrible at that in the past. And it ruins our uh, ability to actually capture the town. Because when I'm knocked out, uh, none of my benefits are being imparted on the troops. Yeah! Rush the ladders, open the gates myself. I am going to be rushing the ladders, but only to try to find a good spot for me to fire arrows from. Because this looks pretty... There doesn't seem to be a lot of firing angles that can hit me from here. Although I can't seem to hit any of them. I hope the trebuchets wreak havoc that we've got. Because they don't have any siege equipment, so I don't really need to worry about uh, neutralizing their siege. Oh, they're starting to hit me. Which also means that they have essentially no hope of destroying my battering ramp. With no siege, there's nothing to... Uh, they're not likely to land enough arrow shots to take the battering ram down. Which then gives me the ability to take the front gate, which is a, a really good point to attack from. Because sometimes those siege towers just aren't functional. They get bugged. Okay, my accuracy's bad. Take easy shots instead. Now, if it does look like we have a sizable force uh, getting the walls, I will, I, I will roll up there if I think it's um, a strategic move. But I need to play this strategically because I don't want to get Varcheg and then not have any units left. Okay, that, my arrows seem to be going through that dude. So the reason to kill these archers is because the ar archers will shoot uncontested on anyone trying to climb the ladders, and then the ones climbing the ladders will be wounded by the time they get up top, which means that they'll lose their fights to try to gain territory on top of the ladders. So it's definitely in my advantage to weaken the ladders well so that we can actually get forces up top and hold it. Uh, we have also taken the gate. Oh, wow, we have taken the gate. Nice. Well, they're done. They don't even hold their own gate, so we win. Ah. 
You can hide behind that if you want. Won't work in the long run. Oh, he's gone. You should be able to earn a title like Deadeye or Butcher. I know. I am I am quite a butcher, I would say. Okay, I might get messed up here because these guys are like... I'm kind of behind their lines. This is a bad idea. What happened, ladder boys? Meet someone your match? <laughs> that was great. High ground is for losers. Well, in this fight, the losers did hold the high ground, so yeah, I will concede that that has been true this fight. I just cut my way up. They were too busy sort of fling or repositioning that not a single one of them really posed a threat to me, which is great. The biggest threat right now is my trebuchets, which, uh, uh I might, I, I mean, Infantry I can tell the trebuchets to stop. Forward! There, I, I just told the trebuchets to quit shooting so that they don't hit me, because that's happened before. Oh, don't tell me that there's a dude in the walls. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on now. Oh no, there we go. Retreat to the keep. Alright, if I'm going to the keep, I'm gonna bring only my companions. I know I could bring more, but uh I'm I'm good with just my closest. You can scream you are dead, but I super big to differ. Yeah, this is endlessly enjoyable. Feel like I'm pruning weeds or something. Yeah! <laughs> How many did I kill in that? <laughs> 12 of them in that fight alone? <laughs> Oh my lord. Dinky did five, yeah, it's not bad at all. I didn't really get anything worth anything. Show mercy. Because we... Ha I don't even know why they offer alternatives, because... It's of my own culture, I can't not show mercy. So managing the town... Two breweries and a smithy. Um, let's see here. I'm going to change what they're working on. I will uh, have them do the siege workshop. Drop some bonus construction money in. Ransoming the troops. Stick in... Oh, I don't know why there was already... Maybe my vassals took people? No, but they're not wounded, so I, I really don't understand where these guys came from. I think... No, I think it was past fights my vassals uh, scooped them up as prisoners, and then they donated or something. Um, so that's cool. Alright, so we have Varchek. Uh, now the question is... Do I settle peace with Sturgia or keep fighting? So the advantage of settling peace is it would allow me to go do the conspiracy quest and then potentially go to war with someone else. 
uh, like Azariah Verlandia, where I'm already paying tribute. I would have to pay tribute to Sturgia, but it's only 800 a day, which is affordable. Um, or I could keep fighting if they, if you think I should get Cranoran Castle or something else. So I'll leave it up to you. Um, another reason to uh, settle peace is I did get a war waged against me by West Empire. So West Empire is going to be bearing down on me unless they are busy with Southern Empire. So it might be a good time for peace for that reason as well. In terms of uh, in terms of workshops, I am maxed out on workshops uh, completely. I could start moving my workshops up to Sturgeon territory, or I could just be like, oh, whatever. I'll keep Pen Kanak and Sargat for now until I lose Pen Kanak or Sargat. Athleticism. Increase my charge damage taken. Oh, decrease my charge damage taken by uh, 50%. Foot troops in my formation take 50% less charge damage. Or Surging Blow. Increase the speed damage bonus 30% while on foot. Foot troops in my formation gain a 30% speed damage bonus. Let's go with Surging Blow. Anyone else get uh, experience in that? No. Okay, you guys want me to settle peace? I will settle peace. Question. Should I go to the conspiracy quest or go to West Empire? There you go. Put on that. Just looking at what there is to buy. I have a lot of money right now. But I'm probably not going to drop 300k on something. Just not that economical. I was just browsing. Okay, conspiracy. Uh, I am going to fight. Okay, so if I'm doing conspiracy... I'm ditching my vassals and only keeping my party leader. Oh, the arena fight's already over. Wait, what? I see the arena icon. That's weird. That's like a bug. Hey, Pingling, thanks for the resub. Two full years, dude. Hot damn. So West Empire is probably going to attack Thraktatore. I mean, they could even go so far as to Sargot and Penkanok. So let's get the DNR Castle thing sorted quickly. So fight the conspiracy. Owner of Varchek. Gonna go to me. Sorry, guys. I can recruit troops on the way. Yeah, that's actually something I should do. So I'm going to gift as many of my... Hmm. Okay, so that's a bit annoying. It, um... I want to give Chemo my non-Sturgians, but the game really doesn't recognize that as, like, a thing. So I just have to hand pluck. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Drop the rest into town. Uh, I could drop my non-Sturgeons. Yeah, let me. I'll do that. Drop my non-Sturgeons off in uh, Varchek because I do want to keep Varchek. And Aster's being sieged. That's a weird. I mean, that's a weird village to go to for West Empire because that's pretty deep into my territory. But whatever. All right, keep garrison. So let's get rid of all of the... Oh, there's actually Sturgeons in here, too. I think those are the only ones. 20 Banner Knights. So now I'm Sturgeon... Oh, nah, that's not true. Almost Sturgeon only. I lied. What about now? Nope. No, I'm Sturgeon only, right? Except for the Billman. Yeah, let's see. Yes, yes. Sturgeon only. That's a pretty big garrison that I just left in Varchek. <laughs> oh, chemo. Chemo just dropped. Tr well, whatever. I can recruit for chemo out here, too. Is there, like, an option to disable that? in the game's menu or something. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where they just, your companions will donate troops. Is that like a campaign option? No. I don't, uh, I don't see anything that looks like that. Can I show my travel speed modifiers? Sure. There they are. Might be a mod. Yeah, I might need a mod. Well, I, I'm not going to bother modding that out. It's just not something I particularly like. Yeah, I can't en enter my own... My own owned cities, because then... My companion parties drop troops onto them. Unless I disband the army and then reband them. I don't know, it's just... It's a little ridiculous. Okay, nothing is besieged down there yet. Uh, Rem toils now. Hmm. I am gonna go to Dinar Castle. That's what you guys voted on. I might have to go retake Rem toils. So who currently owns it? Remtoil Castle is owned by Chaosving. Okay, so I would give it to Chaosving if it's lost. Volandian and Batanian just made peace. Uh, Varcheg Siege Workshop went up a level. I could make peace with them and then go to war with them, yeah. Um, I would be paying them up out the nose. 3,000 tribute a day? I'll pull for that. Should I temporarily make peace with West Empire? See what you guys think. I could throw money at them. Um, if you guys want that. These conspiracy quests really have me going out to the, the, uh, oh, two days left. Dang, I better just go straight to Dinar Castle. In fact, uh, Kimo, you are on your own. Don't lose your troops. And, oh, uh, doubly, in fact, I'm going to give you...
footmen, and I'm going to take your horsemen, even though your horsemen are Valandian. So I can speed up to get over to that castle. Okay, let's go. And you guys say, yes, temporarily do it. So we keep Remtoil, we keep Sargot, we kept everything. Cool. All right, hop up. Get out to that castle. So what am I doing here? It's bandits that I have to take by surprise. So the issue here is I have like very little time left to do this and I have to fight them at night. So it might be too late. But an attempt will be made. Yeah, I think it's going to be too late. Azurai just declared war on me now, too. How much longer do I have on this thing? Less than a day? Can I get an extension? Call my professor and ask for an ex extension? They are operating in a hideout in the vicinity of Dinar Castle, but I don't even see the hideout. Is Mino my scout? Yep, Mino is my scout. Well, I can't clear a hideout, I can't find. Oh, there it is. And I failed. Right? Yep, I failed. <sighs> Killed anyway? No, I'm not going to bother. I'm currently in a war. Halfway across the continent. Or all the way across the continent. So I don't really have the... Uh, I don't have the time for, for that. Should I focus on Azurai or declare war on West Empire 2? Azurai only or attack both? So I'm paying a whole lot of tribute to, uh, to West Empire, which is going to be expensive, but I can't afford it for a bit. We were previously paying tribute to Azurai, um, about 800 a day, and now that they declared war on me, that's just not the case, obviously. We're not paying them tribute anymore. But I'll, I'll leave it up to you as to what I do here, and while I try to slowly rebuild my, uh, my army. Call in Chemo. Chemo hasn't uh, lost any troops, which is good. So taking a look at Azurai, they are only at war with me. Uh, they have really, really, really high strength. And then West Empire... is getting a whole lot of tribute from me, and they're also pretty strong. Way stronger than I am, that's for sure. Also, Thractatory Castle's under siege, and that is owned by... Jarheim, Jarhead Boon. So, if that is lost, I will gift it back to Jarhead Boon. One more minute to vote in that poll. 
And I am making my way down there ASAP. Trying to fill up my army as much as I can with these Sturgeons. My stewardship's looking really good. Leadership's very close too. To leveling up to next skill. I need about uh, 72 more troops. Sadly, all of my troops will be lobbies. No, I still have a, a core of high-level troops here. I do have some Volandians and whatnots that I need to lose, but uh, they're not all low. And then a lot of them are leveling up, too. Okay, as right only. So Eris Lenito of the Odeving just got taken prisoner. So they're uh, at least attempting to try to defend the territory, albeit maybe not that functionally because they haven't built an army up or they don't have the numbers. But I am on my way. The other thing I might end up doing is swinging by uh, Varchag just to drop off my non-Sturgeons. Hey, Poetic. Thank you for the resub. Long live the Banner Lord. Thanks. On your way to a year and a half. Yeah, cheers. I'm surprised Thractatory Castle hasn't fallen yet. Because it has been under siege for a, kind of a long time. It's probably going to fall any minute now then. So what I'm doing is my non Volandians I'm going to or my non Sturgeons rather I'm going to give over to Chemo here. Okay, it looks like Chemo is all Sturgeons now. As am I. Or all uh yeah, never mind. So I have a few Batanian scouts that I need to garrison up. Yeah, this is a pretty well defended town, I'd say. Okay, looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the really high level troops here and disband them. Because they're very, very, very expensive. Or maybe I'll give them over to Chemo. That's probably a better use for them. I'm going to manage Chemo's army and just max out with high-level units the non-Sturgeons so that uh, he's got a tough force. Alright, this is going to be a little annoying to do just because the menu items don't allow for easy transfer. Now let's see. Let's take the picked warriors and give you the banner knights. And Fion champions for the foxmen. And... Swordsmen and scouts. 
And then Vanguard for Light Cav. Billman and Sergeants. Okay, so that is a very well constructed army there, I think. Disbanding so that I can go back into Varchag. Actually, before I do that, I am going to just straight up get rid of some of these Valandians because they're just they're they're really really expensive to pay, and uh, I don't want to hemorrhage money for no reason. All right, so disbanding 132 of them. I'm still over troop capacity. So I'll just get rid of a few recruits. Grab a soldier, grab a warrior, drop two more recruits. Woodsman, another recruit. Okay, so I am all set in terms of... Um, Troop composition. It's all 100% Sturgeon. And now it's just provisioning for the battle. So I'm just going to buy a whole lot of food. Good. Plenty of food. Managing the town. Uh, let's make orchards, workshop, marketplace. In that order. Done. And leave. Grab Kimo again. And now we're a pretty big army. Uh, there is a supply chain from Ostakin to Galland. So that's from Ostakin to Galland. That's kind of in the right vicinity for me. And it's probably going to go from Galland to somewhere else afterwards. So I'm going to keep my eye out for that. So currently... Um, Fight the Conspiracy and Azurai. So let's get down to Threctatory Castle. I don't think I'm going to be there in time, but an attempt will be made. Thank you for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 21st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Radamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Radamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios, Sturgeons!